Kwa majina naitwa Katerina Mkazi wa hapa Ruai na leo tumesikitishwa sana na haya mambo ambayo yamefanyika na hii ni kwa sababu ya uongozi mbaya. Wazazi wazazi hii shule imejengwa tunaambua ilijengwa between 2004 to 2006. Hizo ndo wakati wengine wetu tulikuwa tunasoma na kwa sahi tuko na watoto kwa hii shule. Inamaanisha kwa shule role ya NGCDF ni shule na insecurity. Inamaanisha viongozi ambao wamekalia kiti hawajakuwa wakifanya kazi ambayo inafaa. Ukiangalia hii shule imejengwa wakati Njoroge alikuwa alikuwa councilor, si ndio wazazi? Inamaanisha ilikuwa inafanywa managed corruption that is why they did not follow up and poor planning. Ukiangalia kwa saa hii NGCDF budget yenye inatolewa kila mwaka, mimi sioni haja ya nini shule nyingine inapata ukuta wakati watoto wa hii shule ya Gitwamba wanahitaji urgently schools. Hiyo shule yenye inanunuliwa basi na, na, na classes hapa gani ya emergency mimi na feel ni kwamba tumekosewa na uongozi mbaya and this is a matter of emergency we are calling upon the president of the republic of kenya uhuru and the minister and the minister of education inaonesha kuna pesa imeharibiwa pale na ni pesa ya taxpayers so we are not pleading like the way the people who have spoken before me wame plead sisi tuna demand tunataka mashule zijengwe newly constructed schools should be built with agency shule ijengwe ijengwe upya that will fit the current curriculum ya CBC kama community tumepigia kiongozi ambaye tunajua anajali maslahi viongozi ambao wanajali maslahi ya wananchi na mheshimiwa Ronald Karauri ametoa tent mbili ame respond immediately na mheshimiwa Karis akatoa tent moja tunawashukuru sana na tunawaomba mkuje tena wengi we are begging we are pleading with the aspirants to come through and save this situation because asubuhi kulikuwa na baridi ukiangalia ruai ni jua mvua and we can't allow our kids to study in this condition at this age lakini kwa government we are demanding for immediate action thank you i'm joseph joroge the teacher at Tomba primary school Tomba is in ruai ruai ward and the, the, the school is holding quite a high population, currently standing at uh, 15 of 1504 primary section. We also have the PP1 and PP2, giving us a population of 1,750. As at uh, last Friday, I was in a meeting and I was told there were the, one of the blocks holding eight classrooms was developing some cracks and they had started a bit earlier, but because of the high population, it has put a lot of pressure on the buildings. So far, that building was holding 604 students, and right now, I had to, to think of a solution, and the first thing was to get out the pupils on Friday and relocate them to other place, safer places, like the field, and of course, I got well-wishers who had who has put some tents for us. The other one is about uh, any well-wishers who would like to come and help us because we are in total need, because right now we can't take the, the, the pupils back to the block. Already I've sealed the, the block. I have quite ha have had a number of visitors, starting with our sub-county director and other people who are concerned because of the safety of the children. And I'm lucky to say that None of our pupils was injured. They are safe and sound. And we are going on well learning in readiness to start to continue with our examination tomorrow. So any well wisher who can come in and help us to, to make our pupils comfortable, you are very much welcome and we appreciate you. Thank you very much. Right now we think of maybe we require help from maybe the engineers to come and assess the building. They can, rec they can give recommendation for renovation if it's possible. If it is not, we require quite a number of classrooms for well-wishers like our CDF can come in and help us as a matter of emergency to make our pupils comfortable. So that is my appeal. And I appeal again, it is quite urgent because of the harsh weather we usually have and putting pupils outside, we have a lot of dust. And again, the harsh weather of Roy 
Roy is quite hot and our pupils cannot be very comfortable. Of course, it's going to affect their learning. So that is my appeal. And I hum humbly again appeal to you, just come in and help Kitwamba Primary School. Hii ni Kudoi TV, habari za kuaminika kila wakati, kila mahali.